Hey there parents! For our January math video, we're going to be focusing on vocabulary. I'll give you some examples of the types of vocabulary that they see every day, uh, as well as how we teach the vocabulary to your kids in Bridges and in Number Corner, and then finally, why it's important for them to learn this academic language. So, let's get started! Within every Bridges lesson, teachers use vocabulary cards with the kids that have a front and back side. On the front, it will show the vocabulary word and will also usually show an illustration that goes along with that word. This is super helpful for students because it really shows the students that word and is great for visual learners. When you flip to the back of the vocabulary card, it will show the actual definition. With the Bridges curriculum, they try not to make the definition too long or too confusing. It is usually a simple and precise definition that is easy to remember. Here are some other examples. So now, you might be asking, what is the importance of teaching math vocabulary? Well, here are my top three reasons for why math vocabulary is so important to teach to our students. Number one, students have to know and learn vocabulary in order to understand what the question is asking them. Every math problem gives directions or asks a question of some sort, and a student, no matter how good they are at computation, risks getting the problem wrong if they cannot understand what the question is asking them to do. That is why they need to learn and understand the vocabulary words so that they do know what the question is asking. Number two, often everyday words have a different meaning in a mathematical setting. Words such as product can have different definitions or meanings in our everyday life. For example, product in mathematics means the result when two numbers are multiplied, but a product in a store means a good or item made for sale. So, it's important that students are taught these words and can understand the appropriate meaning of a word when in the context of a math problem, so that they know the difference. Number three, when students learn and know math vocabulary, it allows for meaningful math discussions. One goal in teaching math should be to get students talking. It's important that students are able to bounce ideas off of each other and discuss how they solved a problem or what they're thinking as they try to work it out. Knowing and understanding some of the math words can help students explain their thinking. And while teachers always encourage students to explain things in their own words, at some point the students will need to know precise math terms to move on to deeper understandings and discussion. Well parents, thanks again for joining with us to learn a little bit more about our new math curriculum. We'll see you again in February for our next video.